Hey everyone, this is Andy from Checkout Page. I'm going to quickly show you how to integrate Google Sheets with Checkout Page. Uh, this is my test account, has tons of example checkouts in here. Let me just find one of the checkouts, it doesn't matter which one it is. Uh, okay, I'm going to edit that checkout and then I'm going to come up here to settings, then down to integrations, and you can see the section here for Google Sheets. Let's uh, click add integration then uh, log into my Google account. Here we go. I'm going to give uh, access to checkout page. Then I'm going to hit activate integration. And that's it. The integration is all set up. Um, if I click this spreadsheet, you'll see that we've already created a spreadsheet in your Google account with the same name as um, as your checkouts name not the product name but your checkout name okay so that was super easy uh, let's let's see how fast the sheet updates when you get a new payment so let's make a test payment um, this checkouts for selling some event tickets it's got processing fees and tiered pricing and a quantity field I'm gonna choose the VIP tickets I'm gonna get a couple of them and I'm gonna put the card uh, first I'm gonna put my email address I'm going to put the card details down here. There we go. And I'm going to make the test payment. Awesome. Test payment showed up in here. And let me jump over to the Google Sheet. And you can see that instantly, without waiting, uh, the sheet is updated. So this sheet contains all the essential information you need about the checkout, the payment, the customer, that kind of thing. And you can see I chose uh, two. Uh, the variant type was $100 and the total was uh, $200. So let's say the order of the columns in the sheet isn't you know, quite how you want it. Maybe you want the amount to be, say, the second column. Maybe that's really important to you. I'm just going to highlight this. And let's say you don't like the name of the sheet. So I don't know. Let's just call it something else. Events. And we're going to jump back into checkout page and make another test payment. So let's this time choose some standard tickets. And I'm going to get a couple of them. No, I'm going to get four of them this time. And put my email address again. Here we go. Make this test payment. Yep. Let's. Uh, you can see that the test payment worked. And back in the Google Sheet, even though we changed the name and we changed the columns around, the integration is smart enough uh, to figure all that out. So you can see how you can use this Google Sheet really easily as like a lightweight CRM or a way to manage your events. Uh, or, you know, from here you can print labels, you can print tickets, you can uh, create an attendee list. There's like many, many ways you could use this sheet. Uh, a couple more sayings I want to draw your attention to back in the integration section. So first off, let's say like I, I've i made the test payments, I've set the sheet up how I want it, but I've got these annoying test payments in here. Um, that's fine, you can just delete them and, and that's not going to be a problem at all, even though Loom is in my way and creating a problem. But I can just delete them and uh, that's fine. Next time I take a payment, uh, the sheet will all be set up again. And so if I don't want this sheet anymore, as in I don't want it to be connected to a checkout page, I can just delete it from here. Um, or I can change uh, the Google account that this checkout page is associated with. And just one thing to note that the integration is from one checkout to one Google sheet. It's not all of your customer um, payment information. It's one check out to one Google Sheet. Cool. All right, we're, we're looking forward to seeing how people use this integration. Please let us know if there's something missing or you have a suggestion or you have a great idea on how to use this. Thanks a lot.